So, it is uh, the 10th of July, 2020. It's uh, 5.20 something, 5.26. Sun is well above the horizon now. It's going to start uh, emerging from the biosphere, as it were. So, uh, we'll just let that happen, I think. I took a bunch of stills while the sun was still... Uh, inside the biosphere, but I think I'm going to let it uh, rise out and uh, see what kind of video footage that gives us. On the summer solstice, uh, you can have the sun coming up between the two structures there, and I wasn't able to get that shot this year. I mean, you can do it at any time, really. It's just a question of positioning yourself. Um, although it's getting a bit late. There's sort of a parameter where you, you can have this angle and the sun uh, coming up between the structures, you know, with a, you know, walking a few hundred feet back and forth. Uh, but then at a certain point, it just doesn't happen anymore and I think we're getting there but I think uh, for future reference uh, I will uh, keep that in mind in terms of getting future summer solstice sunrise photos I might change uh, where I go Anyway, we're shooting at f11 with a 400 millimeter lens, uh, ISO 100, that's the base ISO of the camera, the best optical quality, 200th of a second, so it's manual exposure, there's no automatic exposure here. So as the sun rises, it should, you know, generally lighten the whole, uh, the whole exposure somewhat. So here it is, you know, emerging out from behind the biosphere. We see uh, cottonwood seed going by, quite a bit of it from the look of things. And that's what those sort of white fluffy things flying by are. And of course there's some birds, seagulls, and I think also swallows or martins. Um, maybe some other small birds. But I think the smaller ones are probably martins or swallows. That's kind of nice atmosphere with the uh, cottonwood uh, seed and the birds and you can even hear the bird noises if I shut up. 